<laughs> it's funny that I could do, I could, I could write for them cheats mm. by that time in high school, love letters mm. for their girlfriends. Mm. So. so, good afternoon, good morning, depending from where you are and at what time you'll be watching this. Amanya nze Madog Dixon ku podcast ene tandise podcast ene gena be running uh, in episodes zinaba zijani weekly monthly with time to come to jaba to engaging rate of people yes kati ngola lero sirinze ka abula ninako mu kubago yabange ngawe chintu bago ndi naye ngatugena batu likumulamo bwa media influence on our lives media nene nyo ya chintu chinene nyo chetula bana ye chi chi ngeri chi je chi influencing amo bulamo bwafu ya lero gwendi na ye ali mu field ya marketing is a marketer is a ceo era java ye nyonyolako una ochiza yes kan sabe uri yanjule ya batula bo Ah uh, yes, hello, good evening to uh, wherever you are. Uh, I send you greetings, uh, saying hello. And the, yeah, like I said, uh, the little Kunsonga ya media influence and how it impacts our day-to-day lives. Um, yeah, basically, and how it's going to go on to one minute and how it is going to move. Yes, Nandi Sabi, I'm Boyani, but we to worry about the co. About to love about the co. Manya go, Joe, Yeah, um, you know, I do was in our manya, Israfil, Saint Am. I think I didn't know more field via marketing and advertisements. Uh, both are trying to get a media marketing, social media marketing, uh, doing this uh, physical marketing over uh, the traditional marketing. Then at the same time to advertising, uh, to producing Ovolango or advert production, both visual and audio. And then at the same time we do branding, uh, then we do outdoor billboards in the outdoor marketing. Okay. Iranga company Mwenkolidia, but it is Flex Marketing Limited. Yes. It's Kati Kunsonge, no media influence of, on our lives. It's so kind and you got there. Omali wo abamu abata chekira. There are those who don't understand what is media influence. Gwe mungundi yo gwe nga mkula wako inza chinyo nyola otia. Um, according to me, media influence is the, is the, uh, I can try to briefly analyze it and uh, explain it that it can be the power all the ability that media has on, on 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 how we perceive things how we resonate and the, our behaviors how we can look at the influence of it mm-hmm. the ability it brings in our lives uh, you know media it, it tackles our thinking capacity uh, our emotions and the, our actions uh, be it in, uh, media news, uh, being uh, social media posts, and all that. So they cover all that. So to me, in, in short, I can say that it is the ability media has on our day-to-day lives, uh, both emotionally and the emotionally and the, the way we think. So uh, that's what I can say that media is. Hey, okay, Kati. Ngawa otinyonyo de media. So, ndaba aba, ndaba ebi nitu ebi mwe wiwa neo bao bao ebi wewe yala media. Kuba mudi mu ebi nitu ebi lete buwa wa wantu wabamu bafunye mu media generally say impact. Media has impact both positive and negative impact. Na yo wudebu no simanyi kusinzi la chio ba positive ze nyingi ebe bifu demu ebe lungi owe ebe bifu gwe mkulawa kukua bichibi wandi gambia impact jeri na eliobu la mwafira bichibi ere sezo impact chezo e no nji ne mbi uh, well uh, looking at the impacts of course you know media has been 
so good to us it has made us really feel good and at the same time it has affected us uh kubanga wotunulire na kuzino chichibira chizibunyo kusango mtu nti tali ku media and when we find that someone is not on media we tumunita katala pala pakata tali ku facebook tali ku facebook wo biri tianga tuli ku whatsapp you know but uh the impacts to me i would say that positive uh they outweigh the negative mm. uh in a way that they according to me how social media or how media influence has impacted me in a positive way it's that he, it keeps me updated i don't need to be on the radio i don't need to be on tv mm. to know what is happening in usa to know what is happening in europe to know what is happening in in, in village in my home village no the moment i feel like i need to know what well, because now there are groups social mm. media groups uh, of uh, the communities where we come from so i go there i just uh, i just have to have my data i put on data and i know what is happening at home i know what is happening in the world i know what is happening in the field of politics field of music mm. so you find that i know i keep on being updated all the time i am updated i know what is going on and then uh, at the same time I I I survive because of media. Mm. Yeah, I survive because of media. I think that is the most crucial thing. Uh without media, I know there could be other ways that I would be surviving, but it has made life easy for me that I can be there and be, I have to run a marketing campaign, I mean like uh, our media mm. and I eat, I I get clients online. Yeah, I have some things that I sell. Your money in the media is so Olumjira ne kola chi nemba ko yindu byenjiri bane ntujira ku online ku kutwe jigata bantu. So I I find myself earning a living through media. And then uh, of course uh, social networks. Mm. I find that I have friends who are in who are in Mbale and I don't live in Mbale. I have friends who live in Gulu. I don't live in Gulu and I find that I I am connecting myself to different people through media yeah then uh, uh, I others of course then uh, I am trying to cut the long story short and be combining all them at once then uh, we made a cool side in jam hey yo media many now that china anya divinize we are like radio station mm. is it before you publish something uh Yes, has to, see. yeah you know she no kubanga chiri mitende ya ja ucc and uh, on, be, be, before even that uh there is the programs manager mm. the the owner of the radio station they have to look into it is it authentic is it real is it realistic singa mm. manjo gena ku veli yona jo vude and think of something post post or publish no of which is not on the social media social media as long as i'm in my bed and i think i dream of posting something i'll just wake up in the middle of the night and i post and people are going to take it the way it is we've seen people uh people announcing uh, uh the, president. the announcements of the president mm-hmm. of the prime minister of the speaker when they are actually alive mm-hmm. so those things uh to me that is the negative impact of uh, media and of course distraction yeah, yeah. I, it distracts you know you find someone is at work what they are doing is entirely different from media mm. but you find them on media and the, they get distracted from what they are doing clients come a client come you go in a restaurant you make an order and then the way it is on social media is the way it is happening they are fun and you wonder what are they actually doing but find out they are on social media and that's why they are delaying to work on you they go in the kitchen they find mm-hmm. that the chef who is supposed to serve is the, uh, maybe on social media so the order that would have taken five minutes it takes will an take, hour it, yeah it will take an hour or half an hour so uh, that, that is the, somehow some of the negative effects or negative impacts you've talked about the impact of somebody waking up on his mobile phone like this and then put something announcing someone what has that thing that someone has ever posted that 
has ever touched your, your life, either mentally or and it has done an impact on you? Um, well, I normally, I, I, am, I am somehow an artist. So I can say that I always get, it is not one or two, but I always get inspirations from media. When mm. I look at someone, an artist from Nigeria, I always mm. follow artists in Nigeria and in Greece. Mm. Greece has good artists. So you find that someone posts, I mean, the, no, the fine artists, mm. not actually artists. So you find that he, someone posts something and he, it really inspires me to be a better artist. And then, yeah, that's what I can say that the media has done good for me. And I don't think that someone has ever posted something in particular. Mm. And it really impacted or changed my life. No, of course, I keep on getting inspirations from uh, such people, the web designers, good web designers and the advertisers. So it keeps on impacting and inspiring me to be the better version of me. Okay, so which means that there are there are a lot of chances of using, using media, media if positively. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I would say this on camera. Most of the people using this mostly the smartphone because everyone sitting is with his smartphone in your car room. But for something offensive, something that is not changing any someone is that so I would advise if I told you you to wake up a morning and you to post something that would that wouldn't do something good to our nation please don't post it leave it to your phone yeah going further what role what role do you think like now to, according to to the current report yeah it shows that 14 percent of for, for 14 million percent of the population of Uganda, which is around 45 million, yeah. are mentally disturbed. And in when the president of the Republic of Uganda was coming to power, yeah. around 5 million voted for him. Now, which means that, and if it's now like 14 percent of the population, which is 35, 36 percent of the population, is sick mentally. So, how can we use media to avoid that? And how has media co been, because it shows that most of the time it's media leading to people to have mental disorders. How can we? Um, yeah, it's true. It's true people are mentally ill. But I don't want to attach it to media. Mm. Basically, people are having stress. It is, you know, we are in the world where you find that you have problems and you have to pretend like everything is okay because you don't want to show people that you're struggling. Mm. And of course, but if you come to media, um, I'm going to say that there is a need of... Uh, there is a need of... Uh, media literacy i think mm. if i can bring it to that mm. people need to be told what media is all about how am i supposed to use media mm. am i should i use it as the um as a, a stress solving uh platform I, and in turn it is going to be a stress factor mm. yeah media can turn into a stress factor if you don't handle it well don't spend all of your time on media Mm. We've had people, someone wakes up, of course, when you wake up, the first thing you do is to get your phone to look for where your smartphone is. Mm. And the, we are in a world where you cannot <laughs> let your phone be in the living room when you're in the bedroom sleeping. Oh, of course. No, you'd have to put you rather leave the, the, the keys of the door. Exactly. You'd <laughs> rather leave the keys there, but make sure that you have the phone just close to you. Some of, of us, so the moment you wake up like this, the first thing you hold is your phone. Your phone. But how about you now try to to have this mindset of re being resistant to media and being resistant to the phone and say, no, look, I have to wake up. I first take a shower and do all some of the things at least 30 minutes mm. before getting my phone. So let's know how to use the phone. Let people be trained how to use media when and the, 
and why should they mm. be on media so which it's means normal, it's normal to spend a day mm. you know to being on media but nowadays it's abnormal whatsapp is fine mm. but you can say no i'm not going to use twitter for today because i am engaged if you are if you are a chief no when to use your phone you have some time you will have your time mm. no when to use it don't use it while at work otherwise you're going to be fired because you the the uh return on i mean you there they are less yields from mm. your work so no when i am supposed to use the phone and when i'm not supposed to use it because the moment you're fired you're not going to run mad and the, yeah so it's all about to uh, media literacy oh which means one thing i've learned from that is people should know how to use these media tools people should learn about media literacy yeah because i think most of us we are fed apart we are neglecting that part and and maybe to maybe talk, to talk about, about the, the schools education institutions are doing enough to teach media literacy but if not what could be improved they are doing a lot to to teach about media literacy if they they have not done their part what can be done to improve that um i thank you mr dixon about bringing that mm-hmm. issue it's really a crucial question and wondering what should schools do mm-hmm. to me schools uh schools have not done enough mm-hmm. have not done enough to train to do or to invest much in the media literacy because you'll find that teachers themselves don't know when to when and how to use media mm. uh students themselves they don't actually know uh if in institutions and universities nowadays they they have approaches saying that freshers uh I mean, you know that freshers must download chat gpt you know that mm. it, it's an ai tool use it to know like to get you know to they use it nowadays they from do course work yeah and, do course work mm. after covid or during covid mm. they are got introduction of uh, doing exams online and mm. studying online mm. so you find that people are doing literally the same things and you are like man how is it like so i feel like they have they should be told that Yes, ChatGPT is good, but when should I actually use it? Mm. Let me use it for research, mm. but let me not put exactly what they have given me. Mm. Let me try to reason it and know how I can how you can incorporate what they have given you and what you are taught in class and what you have in your mind mm. as your as a common knowledge. Mm. So, um I feel like they have to be uh teachers themselves or lecturers they have to be told about to uh, media literacy and they use the same what they have been trained they train the students they train them when and how they should use this because i i feel like if we have uh graduates mm. who are all good at media mm. it is something good for the country and it is going to reduce on unemployment rate it is going to reduce on um, uh, madness or being mentally ill mm. yeah and the, and i think is that yeah basically i think that is what i can talk about on the schools and the, what is that you know nowadays you find that we have someone from school mm. someone from university they have graduated mm. but you give them a laptop in their hands or the computer they don't know they how to use it they can't do anything yeah they can't do anything mm. but all they first do is to give them a phone and see mm. they will show that they can the only they thing can. they do is to put in media it, it, but, yeah but if you use it well me i have a phone mm. but you find that i will spend a day not opening my account but opening accounts that can that i can use to generate income to get money my my company pages company accounts but not my personal account because i know that i can use it also as well in before the day ends yeah i cannot spend a day without using it because that's where i earn a living 
Yeah, so I think students need to be told that there are a lot of things you can do using your phone or using your gadget, uh, not only being on media. Yes, well, you've talked about the AI, I'll call it in general, chat GTP. People, students mostly, students getting adopted to AI. I think isn't that now making us lose our content? How do you, what do you say about that? Is it to go extra miles of learning and doing our things on our own? Yeah, I feel like chat GPT or AI, yeah, basically AI, those meta AIs mm. that you find on WhatsApp and all that, and Instagram and other apps. I feel like they have completely eradicated creativity. Mm. Someone does not think anymore what they will do mm. because they know that they already have content provider. Mm. So why should they waste their time? Because uh, to give me a simple story, mm. I remember when I was still in high school, I used to have my friends. Mm. So what I could do, <laughs> it's funny that I could do, I could, I could, I write for them cheats mm. by that time in high school, love letters mm. for their girlfriends. Mm. So I started with my close friend, then later he told the guy and another friend that, you know, Israfi is the one who does what? Who does Who this? writes for me mm. love letters. <laughs> so you could, I reached a time, like in one month or two months, mm. I had a group of like 20 or 30 boys. Mm. That I was writing letters to for them to their girlfriends. Mm. But I, I could get money, of course I could not write for <laughs> it, it was never for free. Mm. I could write for money. So me, you could bring the girl the, the cheat that your girlfriend has wrote to you. Mm. Then me, I look at it, then I write. And you, I give it to you, take back. You take back. So I had like 10 handwritings. You know, that now I will change, more I change. So Nowadays, mm. someone will not bring their cheat to, me to you to write for them. Mm. They will go because straight. they will go straight to the AI. To AI. So to me, it feels like if there is a boy who is like me in high school right now, mm. they cannot get that money that I use it to get because nowadays everyone knows that I can get the information mm. from Chat GPT. Mm. So that is uh, somehow a hindrance, and it means like if I was, um, I was. It to if AI was there by then, because mm. nowadays you find that people, students have phones in high school. If AI was there by then, I wouldn't be having this creativity that I have in writing. In writing. Yeah, I, 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 um, I, I have uh, this skill of writing somehow. In the right proposals and mm. all that, but I got the skills from, from high school. But from high school writing yeah, the I, lovely I, yeah, letters. I write love letters to my for my friends. Mm. So. You would find that I don't have this skill that I have now. So I feel like um, AI has the, not done as well in terms of creativity mm. and yeah, the natural creativity. Yeah, that's what I can talk about. With the AI, with the AI, isn't it also replacing our jobs? Because I see now, because once someone say that AI is not replacing our jobs, but it's replacing. Those who can't do what AI does, those who cannot use AI, are the ones going to be replaced. Is that true? No. Uh, AI is completely <laughs> taking away some of the jobs. Mm. Because me, personally, for my startup company of marketing, what I would be doing, if it was if we were back in the days, mm. what I would be doing is to hire someone who is good at digital marketing is to hire someone who is good at proposal writing then you step behind yeah then i just sit down but now i can even someone who doesn't have who doesn't know anything about it they go there they put their details and they are going to give them answers so what they will do the ceo you find the ceo sleeplessly I scratching their heads and trying to write. And nowadays you find that someone is a CEO, they have 10 years of experience as CEOs, but they are using AI to write proposals, to make reports. So they won't have a reason 
overhearing you to do for them that job or to be their personal secretary and stuff because they can do it themselves. I will not need to have 10 people in my office doing marketing or sales when I am providing services. I will need five or even three who are good at using media and using AI. And that's all. So it means that the seven will remain jobless. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for on this I'll I'll say I'll congratulate those who have been with us from the start and I think you've had you've learned something. Yes, media has both positive and negative, but on that we should learn how to use it very well, not to offend people and to use it for a, to earn money and for a living. Yeah, we shall continue with this episode. If you think that this has been more impactful and educative, please give us a subscribe, subscribe to our channel and visit our platform that is Think Digital Edge for if you need marketing, digital website design, if you need web development, web posting, yeah, we have the affordable plans and for my brother to conclude, I want you to conclude the thing. Conclude with the message to our viewers. Um, our viewers, uh, we are really thankful that you've been with us from the start up to now, and we cannot take that for granted. You've spent your resources, your data, your time, but I am sure that this has been impactful to you, and I hope that you can take this home and. You Tell your people at home how to use media. You yourselves, you can train yourselves, uh, train your mind to resist some of the things. Not actually everything that is on media is real. Like I've told you, no one regulates it. Everyone has a right to post. So, before you know, know how to do self authentication, know that uh, this has been posted on Facebook, check on other media platforms, check on X, check on Instagram. Check on LinkedIn, see what has been posted there about this same topic. Know that it is real or not. So before you also start spreading the same information you've seen, first know how realistic it is. How, and before you start forwarding it, first know how is it going to impact the community? How is it going to impact you yourself and other people who are going to see it? So if you find that it is less impactful or it is completely not impacting anyone's life or the community, let it be, let it be, let it stay with you. In fact, delete it from your phone and let life move on. Let people be, don't start stressing people. And some of us that uh, try to, to imitate others like celebrities that we see on media, on TV, uh, let's know who we are. Let's not forget ourselves and who we are. And with that, we are going to know when and how and why we should use media. And that is going to be the better.